Legend of Terror here, and today we've got a saving and disaster battle playing as Whistleman and Nuln going up against the seducers of Slanesh. It looks as though the player has just landed on Ulthwan and Slanesh has basically taken over here because one of the, uh, the lords here, the, uh, the demon prince, has the sort of cane. So this guy here is going to be pretty damn difficult to kill with that additional 30% ward save. We're also really lacking in the magic attack department, so their physical resistance is going to be added on top of that. So, yeah, that's going to be tricky. I'm just going to read out the email just briefly and see what we can do. So he says, hey Legion, hope you can help me out with this one. I was playing as Whistleland and Nuln, having an okay army of infantry, handgunners, and outriders, but it's a bit weak against high-speed armor-piercing enemies, such as Slanesh. I made the mistake of occupying a settlement within range of two armies, and one of them has a sort of cane. Not sure if this one is winnable, as the one who has a sort of cane can delete half the army on his own, but if anyone can do it, it's the cheese master. There's a few more battles during the end turn, just order resolve them if you want. I think there's only one defeat at Kemri. Alright, well, let's see what we can do here. We do have the option to not control large army, but they've only got 21 units, so I'd only be denying this unit here. And these ones here may actually be useful to bring in, so I, don't, I think it would be best to do that. We've got a banner that I don't really think it matters who's got it. Uh, let's jump in and see what we can do. Also, new computers back from the shop, all fixed up, I hope. So far, no crashes, so we'll see how it goes. But yeah, back to 1440p, because the other computer just can't really handle it. Uh, okay, the terrain is not amazing for us, that's for sure. A lot of obstructions in the way. Uh, I reckon the audio is way too loud. I'm just going to drop that down a bit. Yeah, unfortunately, since I formatted the hard drive, uh, all my settings have to basically get reset, and it's going to take me a little bit to get things exactly where I wanted them. Because, yeah, I think the audio is too loud on the game there. All right, let's see. I, I really don't see any particularly good spot to set up. Yeah, like, looking over here constantly, all these bloody trees everywhere. It's a big problem for us. It's good for them because they don't have any missile units. So what we want to do with these guys is just spread them around all over the map so that their forces just go and chase after and just spend a little bit of time trying to kill them. Oh, yeah, just, just the garrison stuff. Uh, primarily where they're going to be coming in from. Mainly just to waste a little bit of their time so we can focus in on whatever does come at us. We've got some outriders that I'm going to need to micro. How much am I going to need to micro you? Given that guy's a demon prince of Slanesh, I don't think you should be running around. Uh, so yeah, no. Decent speed on these guys here. Outriders with grenade launchers. Yeah, let's use you. Control group 1 two, and three. And I think those are the ones I need to micro the most. Alright, we've got a minute and 11 seconds before the first army shows up. Sorry, the um, the reinforcing army shows up. So we need to make sure we've, we harass the first army there as best we can. Yeah, this terrain is really not great. Do what we can there. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this terrain at all. Yes, like I said, just gotta deal with it. Okay. okay. They're over there. We gotta get over there and just harass them as quickly as possible. Just dish out some damage because the bounce power is in our favor at the moment. They're obviously gonna wait for their reinforcements. Because yeah, we want to try to make sure that the. Uh, the enemy is as weak as possible so that we can really focus in on the the Demon Prince. Because we don't have a choice with that one. He has to get killed. Okay, try to enter that one there if you can. All these ones aim for the infantry where possible. That's good. Watch out for the things of Slanesh there. So yeah, we don't have long before he comes in. We've also got these abilities here, which... Uh, I don't know how useful they're going to be. To Earth be told, I haven't really used these abilities all that much, so I'm not really sure what to use them on. Yeah, they can see us all the way back here. Alright, so that Demon Prince is... 
Looks like they're on force march, so that's good for us, I guess. I would have liked to have killed the Soul Grinder, but these are, this is the wrong unit to be going after it. Taking out Chosen of Slanish is definitely good. So this guy here... Yeah, he got a lot of missile resistance. I can't see us beating him in melee. Really sucks you don't have any sort of magical weapons. I mean, this guy's got magical attacks, but... That's not really what I mean. Magical missile attacks. How fast is he? Okay, it's not too quick. How quick are you? Yo! Okay, I got an idea. I'm gonna get your oh, okay. Rampage, what am I gonna do? Yeah, sucks that happens, but, you know. You got Rampaged. At least he can't do that again for a little while. Okay, so you're gonna be Control Group 4. We'll get that dude's attention, just lure him away. Let's focus on getting rid of his army first. Now, he's gonna be unbreakable, so... It's not exactly going to do a hell of a lot. But yeah, getting his attention and just luring him away so we don't have to worry about him so much. And we can focus on him again later, because ammunition shouldn't be a problem. It sucks that we've lost this pistolier unit. How fast are they? Move really quick, Let's start moving back. So just keep that guy distracted. Oh, what the hell? God damn it. There must be a default setting. Uh, let's see. Default skirmish mode, right? All right. It's really important to get all of your settings the way you like it. Skirmish mode is not good. All right. I'm going to put you in... Both these in control group 2. Okay. All right. Well, we're keeping them kind of distracted at the moment, so that's good. They really don't give a crap about any of this at the moment. If they want to come at us in waves, that's fine. You can restock your. S oh wait, no. You got to use somebody else to restock you. I do it themselves. So I think we're getting some pretty good value there. This guy here is moving around pretty damn slow because he's tired, and this one here is just way quicker than him. So yeah, the guy in the email is totally right. That that uh, lord there, way too damn strong. We're gonna need our entire army to focus on him. So we just got to get rid of everything else first. You just gotta send him something to keep him distracted. It's good so far, taking out a lot of pretty high value units. Like I said, it sucks we lost that first pistol here, but I don't think it got wiped out. I think it just left the battlefield. Alright, so yeah, they're, they're doing a bit of this now. Keep him distracted. Alright, that looks good. Take him distracted. Alright, how about you guys come over here? Those are Chosen of Slanesh. If they're just pinned down fighting a bunch of trash, we can shoot them pretty easily. Because that's the ideal thing for them to be shooting at. Although they don't have a ton of armor piercing. But this is a high value target. But yeah, like I said, even if we army lost the enemy, we're not going to get rid of this guy because the Sword of Cain makes him unbreakable. However, what it might do is allow us to basically not use as much ammunition destroying his army until we can focus fire on him. Because yeah, there is none of our guys are going to be able to beat him in melee. That is just not going to happen. Right, you just hold him in place. They're doing alright. I'll just send one of the garrison units in at a time to clear them out. But yeah, they're really moseying on in quite slow. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Okay. You don't want to go too far away, and I can't put him on skirmish mode. 
Uh, you want to keep him too far away because otherwise that demon prince will just de-aggro on him, and that is not ideal. We want him to be constantly aggroed on him for the entirety of the battle. So that he is not bothering us. Like I said, we're just kicking the can down the road for the time being. Rather than deal with their army all at once. Yeah, they're coming at us as moseying on in. This is totally fine. This works for me. Yeah, this guy's got magical attacks. We still gotta get through that ward save. Could also do a bit of this. Seems like we're getting decent damage in with our pistoliers and outriders. That's good. Gotta pay better attention. Yeah, it's unfortunately taking our outriders with grenade launchers quite a while to kill these chosen, but these chosen are worth a lot of bouncer power. So it just is what it is. Good to deal with it. Good. Now you wiped out there. Now, it may not be a good idea for me to actually use the restocks all on... Actually, did I get hit again? Oh, let me still quicker. Yeah, so don't restock that one's ammunition because it's not as valuable as the Outrider's shots. Yeah, all fight to the death as well. But yeah, they can see our army. We're not hiding or anything. They just aren't coming at us aggressively. So a little bit of damage done to our guys here just because I haven't been fully paying attention to it. It's okay. Yeah, like I said, terrain's a bit rough here. They can't just shoot over a hill like that. But yeah, very lucky that they have no ability to heal. Alright, stop firing. Instead, go into melee and just run them down. So a tiny bit of damage been done to him. I definitely would like to get in there and just keep shooting him, but... Yeah, i got to clear out all this other stuff here first. That's actually faster than that Demon Prince. What's this one? Chosen of Slanesh. Okay, good. Bring in the Soul Grinder. That thing's worth a lot of Bouncer Power, so taking it out is really important. And if you're wondering, why is he always talking about Bouncer Power stuff? Because what we want to do is inflict the army losses and just get rid of as many of these units without having to spend any ammunition at all on them. That would be ideal. So like I said, I'm not going to restore the ammunition of the Pistoliers. Take them out now. They're just going to be a restock, that's all. Alright, that, that unit will get wiped out. Okay, you guys can fire it well again. Yep, just shoot into these Chosen of Slish. I'm, I'm sure some of these shots are going to hit trees. That's what it is. Okay, cool. That Soul Grinder did next to no damage to us. Yeah, this is what I was worried about. That's why I wanted to run it down. I figured it would friggin' rally. 92 health left. Rallies. Okay, well, it's shattered now, so that's good. Over here... Those are just Marauders. Actually, Marauders might be better for them to shoot. Because uh, the Outriders, they're better, sorry, the grenade launcher ones, they're much better against, like, low-tier infantry. At least these ones. The Electric Count State Troops are a different story. Oh, shit. We haven't got any Magroed. Yeah, they took that out really quickly. Okay, we've got their Lord coming in over here. Yeah, 
Try to get his attention. Bounce power is still in their favor. So that Valiant defeat was complete load of shit. But that is such a recurring theme in these disaster battles. Oh look, Valiant defeat. It should be easy. <laughs> it's really not. Like this is actually going really well so far. But you can see here, this guy is going to take a lot to take out. Okay, good. We've re aggroed him again. Oh, damn it. I need to bring them over here. Maybe. Actually, I don't know. Would you be able to beat. No, not. That thing's combat stats is really high. Okay, yeah, that's it. Stay, don't stay too far away. What else is in here that would be good for you to shoot? Chosen of Slanesh. I mean, they got shields, so that's not ideal. Maybe those fiends of Slanesh should be better. Damn it. Let's get up again. Come on, move, 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 move. They tend to be pretty squishy, but that thing's got a lot of melee attack, so it kills quickly, but also dies quickly. Alright, that's good. And that's the actual commander of the battle. So, that means that everyone else is going to take a leadership penalty, but as we can see here, it is... <laughs> They've just got such a high tier army that it just isn't really effective. And then they get back to back. Try and draw them over here. Okay. Like I said, got these abilities here, but I just don't really think I should use them just yet. Because, yeah, it's going to take all of our bloody guns to kill this one. Yeah, part of the problem here is that they just dodge this shit because they're so quick. You gotta pin them down, and this is not what we can do. Actually, shoot at the spawn of Slanesh over here, that would be better. Alright, considering the amount of infantry that's over here, it may actually be a good idea to restock these guys and help out with this. Busy. Yeah, they just did not care about the garrison at all. Shit. Like I said, it gives them the advantage this terrain. Because they've got so many points to hide from. Constantly keep an eye on that dude, Outriders. which can be a little bit annoying. Right, you're going in. Take the ground. Take aim. The Helden Hammer. Powder dry. Outriders. Ready to serve. Okay, try to get them around the flank over here and shoot into this. Got to be quick because otherwise they're going to kill us very quickly because they have high damage output. Starting to break through here. That's not good. Yes, General. Might be a little bit of friendly fire, but their units are worth way more than ours, so that's okay. okay this one's get around the flank there. I bet you move back over here and shoot at these marauders instead. Alright, started playing our music. That's a good sign, but that doesn't mean we've won. Just because... I mean, he said that this Lord here could wipe out the entire army just by himself. But I reckon delaying the enemy forces is what's going to be the key to victory. Delaying him, I mean. This is the key to victory. Every bit of damage that we're taking is unfortunately making it harder to inflict the army losses on them. But we are, I think, overall getting the upper hand. Yes! 
Yeah, not that many of them left. That's good. And we got a good rhythm going on with this. So that is really good. Outriders, take position. Weapons at the ready. Outriders, no lingering. We await your orders. All right. I got a feeling the army losses is really close by. But of course, still gotta deal with him. Was he speed up or something? I don't think we'll restock their ammunition again because they're not going to be that useful against him. Okay, is that the army losses? Yep, that was the army losses there, but we're not done yet. Alright, ceasefire for the time being. Don't waste ammunition on trash. And now we bring him in. Oh, look, this one's unbreakable. Okay, so this doesn't matter at all because it's unbreakable. So what we want to do now is fly around in circles and just allow our guns to shoot him and just hope that it's enough. You get out of the way, because if he aggro's on you, you'll have a harder time getting away from him. That's it. Get him in range, and just open fire on him. Oh, I can see what he's trying to do here. Actually, this would be fairly useful. That can get rid of some of his missile resistance. Yeah, he's, he's de-aggroed. Oh, yeah. He's... Oh, my God. Come on. At least give me one of these. Kim pinned. Okay, absolutely lay into him. To send the melee infantry in. Alright, looks like we've got this. He's going down. Doing some serious damage to us, but he can't win now. There's not enough of them. Yes, General! For the Warhammer! Yeah, we got him. Come on, just just one more bullet. Come on. There we go. Got him. Alright, I don't think any of our units got wiped out, apart from the garrison units, but that's fine. So I guess another way that I might have been able to go about this was get his aggro early, bring him over to kill him quickly, but that has the added problem of not killing him quickly enough and then the rest of his army shows up and smashes us while we're a bit too focused on them. So I usually try to err on the side of caution. But it all worked out. I don't think these forces are going to attack you again anytime soon unless they bring in another army. Let's give you some replenishment. But yeah, no... Uh, none of your main forces got wiped out, so that's good. And we have the option to give you the Sword of Cain. My recommendation is put it away. I mean, the, the guy's high level. You could give him the Sword of Cain. So he said there's some more battles to have over the end turn. Let's have a look at what they are. And if there's anything I can do about them, we can fight them. Overall, the campaign seems to be pretty healthy. Well, he did say, just ought to resolve this. <laughs> well, your wish is my command. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do that. All right. So, looking at this, we're outnumbered by one unit. I think we'll be okay. I'll fight this manually. We've got this banner on. Well, you don't have any melee troops, do you? So I guess that just makes sense. Yep, all right. We'll just fight this manually. So I don't think this one's anywhere near as challenging as the previous one. Now, there's a it's a river crossing battle, and most people would probably put their troops right in front here. Um, I have found that to be not the most effective way to go about it, largely because that's what the AI expects you to do, instead doing this. Because there's no obstructions over here, we can still shoot them, but they they kind of expect you to be there, and if you're not there, they really kind of derp out. But, <laughs> legend, that's not fair. <laughs> Alright, so... Very 
a missile heavy. We'll put the archers up front. Show us the foe. Yeah, put the steam tanks up front because they're ready. they're tanky. All right, the units that we want to micro. So these amethyst outriders, they're grenade launchers, aren't they? Yeah, I'm gonna put all them. I got more entities. And two. All right, that's fine. So yeah, I want to harass to begin with. Although we've got to keep in mind they've got artillery of their own. Quick march! It'd be hard to tell which way we can go through and which way we can't. It's this bit here. So our steam tanks will get a bit of a bit of ability to fire. Yeah, okay, we probably shouldn't advance on that because of the Reaper bolt throwers. I don't think that's a good idea. The amount of damage that we would do to them just wouldn't be worth losing these guys. So just wait for them to come across. Instead, send the steam, steam tanks up a little bit. Just always move them back. Yes, yeah, Scourge Runner Chariots, those would be good to get rid of. I don't really think Rakath is that big of a problem here. A bit of damage. And we're, they're hitting like somewhat invisible obstructions as well. These, these shots explode. Okay, yeah, no, that's that's a much better target to go for. Uh, this actually wouldn't be the worst spot to put down one of these, but like I said, I, I wasn't really worried too much about this battle. I mean, the bounce power is already in our favor. I think it just gave us an auto resolve defeat because we're going up against a legendary look. Yeah, look at that. The steam tanks, they're destroying the pieces of artillery. Now, there's some trees in the way there, so that means that as we shoot through here, it's probably, yeah, it's exploding on the trees. So, that's not great. Just move over a little bit. Back, move back, move back, move back. Okay, there's another piece of artillery there, maybe aim for that. Okay, so we've got this, which should just be good on. I find this is pretty good against infantry. Let's go for the units that I think are going to dish out the most damage to us. Starting to take a fair bit of damage on the steam tanks, and we have no healer in the army, so let's pull that one back so it doesn't get destroyed. Oh, you've all oh, right. Okay, well, that's good. <laughs> yeah, see what the AI is doing, how they're advancing in this direction here. This is what we want to see. This gives us time. All right, I want to get around over here. Really want to get those friggin' artillery. That was, I didn't think that was ever going to do much damage. But yeah, they expect you to be there. This is why I don't set up here. Okay, let's move the troll hammer torpedoes up a little bit. You might also be wondering, why not move up a little bit closer so our guys can shoot? I'm also a little bit wary of aggroing them. See how they're coming over this way? That's kind of what I wanted. It just gives us more time to deal with these guys over here. Once we eliminate their range, we're going to be in a much better position. Let's go back. Too many dangerous units there. Like it would be, we could dish out a lot of damage. It just wouldn't be worth it. We'd be losing too many good units. Okay, at least that Reaper Bolt Thrower has been dealt with. Yeah, once we get rid of all the Reaper Bolt Throwers, I feel like... Well, I could actually also change how the AI behaves. Something to consider. The Iron Drake Troll Hammer Torpedoes have really long range. Being able to shoot Rakath down with them would be a good idea. Two on that one, three on that one. So it's still got five pieces of artillery. This is on uh, large unit scale. Ready, sir. Just 
just just keep focusing on the Reaper Ball Throwers. Seems like they're paying attention over here. I just want to move these up a little bit at a time. Just like, really don't want them to rush at us. Not yet, anyway. Yeah. Those attacks have become surprisingly good against just regular infantry. And I'm more concerned about them than Rakath, just because in order to reduce Rakath's damage dealing abilities, I basically have to kill him. Whereas these ones here, every entity to die means fewer missile units shooting at us. It's sneak on up. I mean, we're not hidden, but they seem to have derped out a little bit. Oh, hang on, move back, move back. Okay, that works. Looks like we've got Rakath's attention. That is fine. Alright, looks like we're going to be able to snipe him fairly easy. He's going straight for the steam tank. And he is... He's not going to survive this. Okay, shade smashing up the... Troll and Mitchell Peters is not good. Get them back a bit. Seems like our steam... Oh, he used a breath attack. It's okay, we're still getting the better of him. Can't get rid of these fucking shades. God, they're annoying. Yeah, I'm not seeing the shots land there, so I have a feeling that they're... They're just hitting nothing. Go, keep going for those scores running charge. Yeah, they're sending this the um things over here. Actually, if you could kill Rakath, that would be great. Because he's probably not coming back. Come on, come on, come on. You've only got a small window of opportunity there. To get him. Oh, he is coming back. Okay, maybe, maybe don't shoot at him then. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Right. I see something of this that hasn't... Oh, hero portraits, I think. Okay, Mark is taking too much damage now. What was the other thing I like to do? It was type icon. That's it. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Alright, he's going down. Got him. Good, he didn't get a chance to use a breath attack. Alright, bring them up. And yeah, the fact that they're coming at us a little bit at a time, that is exactly what we want to see here. Yeah, bring him up, because that's very useful for slowing them down. Uh, the trees might have blocked a tiny little bit of that, but it's still fairly damaging. And they brought another shade unit up. Pfft, annoying bastards. So yeah, I would bring these guys over here, but there's still a lot of missile units over this way. Get rid of the shades there. Alright, this is looking pretty good. I think we're going to walk out of this one without too much damage. Alright, let's bring these up. Might be a good idea actually to kill that Hydra because I don't think it's coming back. Just out of range. I think I got it. Yep, got it. That's good. Fire! Of to battle. Go! I think a few minor mistakes in this battle, but for the most part, very little damage done. Basically claiming victory now, because there's... At your service. Realistically, nothing else they can do to win. Ready for war. 
Bring these guys back over. So even though the Iron Drake Troll Hammer Torpedoes aren't good against infantry, there's no more large units left, so that actually, yeah, there's no more large units left. Oh, they had um, Dark Conduit as well. That could have really fucked us up. And now we bring in the, uh, the cavalry. Doesn't make sense to have them wiped out at the beginning of the battle here. But yeah, Rakarth's army totally obliterated, essentially, and you're in good shape to mop up whatever is left afterwards. Try to watch out for other things that might be shooting that don't don't want to get hit by it. Really want to make sure we try to get rid of all the... Oh, wow, look at those attacks. I don't think I've seen those units yet. I mean, apart from right now. Oh, what happened there? Oh, what happened? Hmm, <laughs> that was a bit weird. The game sort of like didn't crap itself. It was like it's having these weird stalls. Hmm. All right. Well, your army's in good shape, and we can recover the casualties that you suffered. Yeah, your money's fine, so we'll just do that. I have no idea what's going on any anywhere. Yeah, oh, could we win this? It says decisive defeat. Could we win it, though? Because, um, mm, no, probably not. Because all of your units are super badly damaged. I'm sure there's a bunch of people like, oh, but it's totally winnable. The thing is that they're not coming at us with very much, and they're, it is it is a walled settlement, but I have no idea how badly damaged these walls are. It doesn't say there's any breaches. Because, yeah, if they don't have much... Oh, they've also got the Sharpty Summon as well. Uh, look, I'll give it a shot, and I don't I don't have a huge amount of confidence. And the guy did warn us that he said that this was a defeat at Kemri, but let's just see. I mean, worst case scenario is I lose. Let's see. Let's just see. Alright, well, let's move everyone back to here firstly, and then think about how we're going to go about this. Now, there's somewhat of an advantage of having, like, really trashy units, in that it's putting them up on the walls is not that big of a deal, so whatever damage we do with the towers, excuse me, whatever damage we do with the towers, it's going to be more than what this one's worth. Yeah, I think we're really going to struggle to win this. So there's, there's them over there. It's over here. Ideally, if we can get the Screaming Skull Catapults to, like, use up shitloads of their ammo, that'd be very good. There's also not really a great defensive position because of the, um... There's some really big blind spots here. The AI is stupid in not um, making use of it. Although, that being said, there's, there's that over this way. Okay. Alright, I'll put this one over here and... Just get them to shoot at... Hmm, doesn't really matter. Maybe get rid of these skeleton archers. All of our missile units remain here. We'll definitely want our towers here to be active, so we want to delay them as much as possible. But the thing is, if we put barricades down in certain locations, um, spending the points, I'm not sure if it'll generate us back enough time to get the, the points back, if that makes sense. Alright, and then there's not that many large units, so I don't, definitely don't want to put great swords up in the wall. So we want to put the lowest value units up here. I'd love to get both of these towers active. How about that? We can. Um, but the thing is, these ones aren't going to shoot, so there's not really much point in that. So what I want to do here is just kind of hide we them behind the tower. So th they're going to try to aim for us, right? Just spread out a little bit. Come on. There we go. Let's pick that up. You're going to try to aim for us. And that way, this one here taking some of the damage of that one is fine. I don't expect them to do a hell of a lot. Any bit of damage they can do is worth it. But we're also going to have to rely very heavily on just the regular towers. And also, if they could advance upon us here in waves. Just because this one here barely even counts as one missile unit. 
Yeah, I think getting rid of their archers is probably the highest value stuff. We don't have the ability to restore ammunition anymore. Also, another problem that we might face is that these towers kind of go a little bit blind in this area right here. So you gotta be, just be careful about that. So I'll put blockers here. Uh, should I go with the bigger ones? Yeah, I think we'll go with the bigger ones. We really want to disincentivize them from coming over this way. That uses up all of our points at the moment. We'll, we should still get enough to be able to put some... Maybe just basic towers in more locations as opposed to these can towers. Because they can be very inaccurate. Because we're not going up against a huge amount of force here. Yeah, we'll just see what we can do. Really not confident, but I'll just see. It looks like they want to delay over there, and over here they're going to advance quickly. Yeah, if I put blockers here, like a. Th oh, wait, they can come up this way, can't they? I need to actually put like three blockers in to really slow. That's 1,500. Because they're kind of a slow army. Decent amount of damage done to those skeleton archers so far. We are Sigma's heirs. So I can get the camera over there a bit easier. Alright, that's what I was hoping they would do. They're just going to use up a lot of ammunition doing that. That's great. By Ruff. I'm just not sure. Okay, I'll tell you what. What if we go with the regular barricades? here and here because if they want to block that one off they've got to go around there and I might get enough to sort that out shortly maybe yeah, okay if we if we want to stay here and fight we are gonna die pretty quickly anyway the towers have used up all their usefulness pretty much if I can get this guy back that wouldn't be too bad whereas these towers are doing pretty well I saw them coming over here just yet. Right. This has no value to us anymore. Just get back. Alright, let's put another blocker in here just to slow them down as much as possible. Like I said, just buy as much time as we possibly can to just generate those supplies. So what are they doing? Nothing. Alright, I definitely want to waste... We'll get them to use up their ammo. If I can get them to shoot at the halberdiers, that wouldn't be too bad for us. Are they... They're moving around the other side. Huh. Well, that's very, very, very dumb. I didn't think they would do that. That's... That's incredibly dumb. I think it's time to build a tower here. The Empire endures. Okay, move this guy back over here. Might be useful later down the track. Uh, putting a tower here. That'll give them some incentive to try to capture this. Which is fine. I mean, I know it does provide us with a buff, but... It's that big of an issue. The enemy gates are destroyed. Aren't they our gates? I guess they captured it and then destroyed Yeah, so they're keeping a little bit busy here. All right, if I... Yeah, you actually can't demolish the barricades anymore. A bit weird. They're using some ammunition to try to destroy it. Okay, that is fine. Like I said, just buying us some time, that is totally fine by me. Might try to go for the 900 value towers here, if possible. Well, can't shoot at them anymore, so let's try to get rid of the Screaming Skull Catapults. But that is that is very good that they are being that stupid.
I'm gonna put this one down here that might shoot at them a little bit. Actually, can I cancel that? No. <laughs> you gotta. It's not as easy to utilize the towers as it was before. Ready for war! My Alright, I am going to bring these guys down here. So like I said, these towers here, they'll be I think they're gonna be much better here. There's no there's no real advantage to standing up here as opposed to down there. Also, we kind of want to incentivize them to not attack through here, so it gives them something here to actually attack. Because here's another thing as well. With these uh, Screaming Skull Catapults, if they're just stuck there doing nothing, that's fine, right? But if we kill them, that's balance of power loss for them, so that we can try to get the army losses, despite maybe not have really dishing out that much damage. Mm, I'm not sure if that's going to get done in time. Okay, the large units are probably going to come in first. We'll put them up front. Put these in the rear. Plus, we don't want to lose our best balance of power units early. Alright, we've got 900. Let's use that. But yeah, that's looking pretty good. Another thing we've got to keep in mind are the Usharpti summons. So, that could do an absolute ton of damage to us. When that starts being popped down, which I don't think we've, we're in danger of that just yet. Best thing to do is just lure it away. But since we're in a bit of a blob here, that's not ideal. So I should try to spread my guys out just a bit. So I don't pin all three of them down. Because if we lose our missile units, we're, we're really in big trouble. I mean, we're already in big trouble, but let's just see. It's working. We haven't taken any casualties yet. Yeah, I don't think I got a whole lot of value out of that. It's a bit of a waste. That's okay, it happens. Yeah, look at that. These guys here, they're just going all the way... Oh, there was a... Okay. This guy here, looks like he's just going to try to cap this. I wonder if we should try to move up and snipe him while he's doing that, before the rest of his army arrives. Some forces over here. Kind of tempted to use this, but I, I really feel like it'll go to waste. Like, it might give us the win. I have also have no idea what level the settlement is. Okay, no, no, just go back over here. It's just not worth it going over there and losing our position over here. All right, we need to really start getting these towers going. I'll wait a little bit longer and get the 900 value tower. Are you able to start shooting yet? So this one here may have ended up being a poor choice, which is not really getting any damage in. Thing to keep in mind is that we cannot restore our ammunition anymore. Okay, well that's good. We took out Screaming Skull Catapult. So even if we do lose, which it seems pretty damn likely, at least he's not going to have those Screaming Skull Catapults anymore. Hmm. Okay, now they're shooting. That's good. Good, that's going down. Missiles at the ready! Bring damage anything, try to get rid of the Usharpti. So I put the Halberdiers up front. Very tempted to pop this down, but I just... just don't know if I should. This guy's just going around capping all the towers. I don't know. I, I think it's a bad idea to waste these because you got to spend a fair few schematics to get them, and this battle kind of looks hopeless. So I'll just do the best I can without it. Maybe if a mega blob shows up, I'll pop that down. But until then, let's just let's just keep this going as it is. Okay, this one's a little bit obstructed. Maybe move them out of the way. You need to be aiming for the Usharpti. No! Weapons out, lads! Time for fighting! 
They're still shooting, but they're somewhat obstructed. I've got... Okay, hang on. We need to create better gaps in the line here. So that our guys can actually shoot properly. Because I guarantee the Usharpties are the ones doing all the damage to us here. Uh, then the next one to target would be the Chariots. So it's create a bit of a, a gap here so we can actually shoot them. It's good that that's taking that out. Alright, the Usharpties going down. Take out the Chariots now because they'll actually dish out damage faster. And how are we going here? Doesn't look like these towers are... Are we shooting? What's, what's going on? Yeah, okay, they're shooting. That's good. Ready for war. Once again, the handgunners are obstructed. Fire! Fire! Better that they shoot at a bad target than not shoot at all, I guess. Okay, we keep shooting at the chariot. Okay, the Usharp is gone. So tempting to use this. This thing is, the guy just didn't expect me to even fight this battle whatsoever. Uh, okay, move up through here. The okay, Lord's coming up this way as well. Still got our great swords. The great swords will do quite well against the enemy infantry. That's why we need to focus on getting rid of the larger units. Problem here now is that. If the Usharpti drop on this, this is really bad timing for us. And they'll kill us so quick. Alright, try to kill him if we can. Another problem is, he'll get down to 50% health, get the curse on us, and then they'll just be in the end of it. Yeah, our guys just can't target him. Block line of sight. A little bit. The Empire this won't do it. Pick them off! Well, that sucks. If you won't friggin' shoot, well, it's not good at all. Look, maybe just shoot at them. Just, I know that they'll be able to hit that. Because they just don't, I guess they don't want to hit uh, friendly fire. <laughs> but I don't care. Just. Just get rid of their lord, it would make a big difference. Alright, both their Screaming Skull Catapults are gone. I'm going to bring this guy up over here to try to recap that point. Not that it would do anything. We could upgrade this tower here. But I think the break in the fighting would be a bad call. Because it's still going to have line of sight issues. It's just, it's just not a great place for the tower. Yeah, come on. He's able to be shot now. Shoot him. Shoot him. You guys move out of his way. Just move them a little bit more over here. It's starting to break through here. That's it. We might actually kill him. <laughs> Maybe. It's good to see our guys are kind of fighting to the death. Got some backup guys over here. Alright, Arch is coming up over here. That could be a bit of an issue. Oh, they just they won't shoot at him. It's the biggest problem because he's he's large, but he's not large enough for them to get a clean line of sight on him. Okay, one of our great sword units got wiped out. But yeah, fighting in this choke point here really slows down the battle, allowing us to utilize the tower as much as we possibly can. These archers are gonna be a big problem for us. We should probably shoot them. Bring you back down, see if you can do some damage to him. Yeah, he's getting a lot of kills. Breaking through that. That'll at least take them a little while to do it. Try to move these guys a little bit more over here. Get the gunners to shoot. Going back a little bit. 
Really need to fucking kill this guy. We are dishing out damage from him. He's probably about to put down the curse any second now. Oh, and there's the Sharp T. That's basically the GG moment where at least we know we did a shitload of damage to them. But yeah, get the missile units back because of course they're going to aim for that. You stay in there and try to pin him down. But yeah, you can see here. We're, we're going to get army lost any second. At least we did a shitload of damage to him. So I'm at least somewhat happy about that. All right, let's start popping down these towers here. There's no time for... Yeah, it, it's, it's about to be army lost. Yeah, this was fucking hopeless as hell. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. At least we did some damage to them. Much better than order resolve, at least. And they just ended up sacking it. So I have no idea what level the settlement was. But it's quite possible that they sacked it. Oh. They sacked it because they took so much damage they didn't feel like they could hold it. I have no idea if that was better for you or not. Well, he's, he's, he's had just uh, order resolve this, so. Done deal. The dead are thick about you. I think your lower reliability is a bit of a problem. But you got a lot of territory, so I guess it's okay. There are higher powers at play than you. Mm. Go away. <laughs> mm. Oh, it was tier four. Well, it wasn't I don't think that battle was really winnable. At least that force is going to be a lot easier for, to, for you to deal with next time. And losing those Screaming Skull Catapults, those are some pretty good units. But it may have ultimately just been a waste of time. Hard to know unless you actually give it a shot. Anyway, guys, we got through the main battle that you actually wanted me to sort out, plus the Rakath battle. So that's the end of this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Appreciate you. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you next time. Later, guys.